Welcome to the final round of Maiden Denmark at the Himmeland Golf and Spa Resort in Aalborg. This is Thomas Peters. At the fourth. This is the hole where he took seven yesterday after hitting the green in two. Different story today. He was able to hold that for his birdie. Short shot for Peters. He's only got 156 metres left. starting at left of the hole at early stages in fact probably most of the way is left to right it looks to me as though it wants to straighten a bit at the end maybe even go right to left a little but it's for an eagle well, that's as close as you can come to holding a putt without it going in Agonisingly missing on the lower level, gets the birdie. So he has birdied two of the par fives early on in this final round, something that he's not been doing too well of late. Looking to bring it in from the left, and it's stayed out a bit. Not bad, though. Trying to increase his lead with this birdie part at the seventh. A little bit left to right initially as it comes up the hill. Might just straighten at the end. Held its line. Left to right wind here for the players to play across the valley. Bunker in the middle of the fairway. Doesn't worry Peters. You can see he's well past that middle trap. Really, I'd never tire of seeing this fella swing. Big wide arc, beautiful angle at the top. And it's such a simple move. Very graceful for a player as tall as Peters. Very athletic. I've got to say, Julian, this is not his favourite shot, is it? This length. We'll just send it up more softly. No, he's not looking for the big spinner. That's a bit light. OK, the rain's arrived now on the 8th. Peters for birdie. Third of the round for the Belgian. And Thomas Peters goes back into the lead again. Oops, that's going left quickly. Good job he was hitting an iron, but he's miles back now. Well, that's going to be a very long second shot. Expecting it certainly to release when it hits. Right hand flag well on the green. And it's somewhere short of the green. I don't think he's quite got all of it. Yes, wasn't able to get too much turn, get through the ball. Peters. Took the cover only to here after a tee shot, just will make his par though, needs a good pitch and putt. Oh. Oh. Peters though drops a shot at nine and loses the lead. He's slightly left to right, but it really is in your breeze now. It's nothing like the wind we've had the last couple of days. Just a different direction. Yes, maybe a little bit 
more cautious having seen the ball of Kaiba fly away to the right. Peters, can he bounce back with birdie here on 10? Outside chance, left to right breaking. There's a bunker at 356 yards in the middle of the fairway, another one same distance on the left side. He could reach that, got to try and thread it between them. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's hit the cable. Come up, please. Shh. Shh. Got to play it again, then. The stroke is cancelled and must be replayed. That's the official instruction. Most unfortunate for Thomas Peters. He didn't realise his ball had hit the cable. And he absolutely flushed it straight as a die. It was going down between the bunkers. So he's got to have another game. And this is the ball in play. We gave that a belt. And that's straight as well. I think he went at that a little bit harder than the first one. Yes. Well past his playing partner, Lagergren. Might be just by the edge of that bunker. 256 metres to go for Peters. Kaimer's laid up short of the green in three. Lagergren not on the green and He's in the, bat, the bunker between the eighth green and the flag over there. So not much room to work with. Wet sand, not a huge amount of green to play with. <laughs> Nicely played bunker shot. Oh, 644 yards up there, flag high in two. <laughs> sort of what you'd expect, really. Yeah, that's a huge advantage, isn't it? Be very disappointed to walk off here with a five. He doesn't, though. It's a good birdie. And we now have a three-way tie at the top of the leaderboard here in Denmark. It's been out with the big stick. Impressive drive from Thomas Peters, who's in a good run of form. Fourth at the Olympic Games in Rio, just out of the meadows. Second last week in the Czech Masters. And tied for the lead here in Denmark. Terrific tee shot from Peters. Even a slight uphill lie to play second. Can't see the putting surface. Just see the flag, and there's nothing behind the green. It's very open, you really have to rely on your yardage. Nothing to help you with the length of the shot. Peters with a birdie putt at 12. Ooh, short. I was going to say, won't know he's lost the lead, actually. I wouldn't have thought it's a lead, but I can't remember if there's a leaderboard uh, around by the 12th. Certainly won't have put it up anyway by the time he putts, so he probably thinks he's still leading. Jacket off for Peters. Well, what little breeze there is, slightly at their backs, that's why he's got the three wood out. There we bottlenecks and there's water to lay up short of. Yeah, that's ideal. Yeah, it's getting better all the time. Just a gentle breeze still from the east, so it's blowing off the, the left here as they play. To the 13th, 132 metres left for Peters, just a wedge in here. Tight flag to find. Got to be aggressive now, though. Why did I not? Yeah. On 13. 
Thomas Peters. Not quite enough. Well, running out of holes, really, Thomas Peters, where maybe his power is going to be an advantage. He's probably got one hole left where perhaps he could use that strike of his, and that may be off the next tee, but... I don't think Peters can quite reach the 14th green. Players are on the green. He's going to have a go with the driver, but the breeze is off the right and slightly into. Give him another Drive mighty blow. <laughs> I suspect he'll try and get a bit more fizz on it, knock it in a little bit lower. It's all field. You can't see the surface of the green. Nice. Well, I've watched Kymer's ball knows how it reacts. Oh, and he just allowed a little bit too much. And I wonder whether it's going to be a frustrating two weeks for him right there to the bitter end last week in the Czech Republic. Didn't quite manage to win there. Finds itself one behind. Driver for Peters. Lagerum's already found the left half of the fairway, which is where you want to be if you're going to attack this tight flag. <laughs> 70 metres. He's got to get this absolutely spot on. I think he'll play one in fairly low, but a check on it. It's on an upslope there, which makes it harder. Good shot, has a chance. Got to start taking some of these chances now. Only made one birdie on the back nine. Got to make one now, Peters. Sometimes you can just try a little bit too hard. This one's much lower. Something to say about that, Julian, but it's another... Yeah, it's another good shot. It's a very good shot. That might have been a tournament winning shot. I thought that was going to go in. I thought that was so close to the line that Carlson had earlier on. I mean, this was I mean, such a whisker away from going in. Clipped it nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Now you think he's got every chance. Oh, a little bit less pace on it may have just turned, but my goodness me. Peters to make it a four-way tie. So nearly had the lead on his own, but by a whisker, a millimetre away from a one. Quickly ahead to 17 and Peter's tee shot. Long way down for the big hitting Belgian. And Peters respond, it's an excellent chip from Lager, Grant. Got to find a way to get this close all the way up the green. Needs to release, and... Oh, look at that, look at that. Take him out, Thomas Peters. Played some absolute beauties this week. Got the driver. Yeah, that's as straight as you can hit it. A little bit of left to right mover. What a tee shot. Uh, Darren Clark was watching back in the UK or here. He'd be very impressed with that tee shot.
likes it. Oh, and he should love it. He should adore that. What a shot to play in the 72nd hole. Superb stuff from Thomas Peters. We've always known that he was a huge talent. We saw that just about a year ago when he won two tournaments and two was appearances on the European Tour. And this almost certainly the putt for victory. This for a birdie at the last to get to 17 under. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant for Thomas Peters from Belgium. Surely enough to win made in Denmark. And will it be enough to ensure a Ryder Cup debut as well? 62 in round one, 71, 69, 65. And this young man of extravagant talents is suddenly beginning to come good. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.